what's going on youtube back with another video so today we're going to be putting on the magic drift polyurethane bumper lid not the real ugly one that i hate and i'm pretty sure all of you guys hate but we're gonna i'm gonna tell you guys the reason why i'm doing this also if you haven't already and you're new to the channel please subscribe i make i guess great content for all the noobs because I'm a noob myself um, if you like this video make sure you hit a big thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy so basically last week I hit an armadillo and it cracked all of this right here on my bumper and this connects to this the skid plate and it cracked that so now it was popping up and down when you're driving and touching it around and scraping and making a bunch of free ball noise. So I invested in something better than buying a new bumper. Why not just put a bumper lid on it? Which will cover this, keep this closed, and give an overall better look for the car. So let's get back to that now. Okay, here is the bumper lip that we got in here. This is the Magic Drift polyurethane and what polyurethane means is the this is not prone to cracking at all you can flex bend it however so let's say you get something else it won't crack and you won't have to replace it i mean maybe you get a little scratch or something but hey it's just a bump on this side it's not that important is it well some of you guys take it that important but i don't so let me stop talking and let's get on to how i'm going to be installing this Today the tools we're going to be using is obviously a power drill to drill into it and I don't even have the drill accessor so I don't know how I'm going to do this exactly. I have bought some stainless steel, let me get you guys to see it, stainless steel, ah, hex nuts. 8 by 32s same as with these screws but the sizing for them is 3 fourths and we're going to use that later on to hook the bumper back on because I lost a couple screws that's why I bought hex nuts but we're going to be using these screws to lock on to the bumper for the bumper lip also just in case I'm pretty sure I feel like I'm not going to be able to drill holes with this right here so I'm going to probably dash a hole somewhere and then continue on with using these screws to put into the bumper and here goes this for cutting zip ties if we need Alright, we've got it secured onto the... Wow, this is horrible, 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 horrible. Anyways, look. Guys, we got it on there now. We got the bumper lip on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of dark in here. One of the bulbs went out. I don't have the care to buy it. Anyways, like I was saying before, we got the bumper lip on there. We're about to start plotting where we're going to drill at. More than likely, it's going to be and corners and on the bottom so it's more secure and we're not gonna put it on the top because the screws are showed there and that looks hideous so I'm about to show you where we're about to plot right now okay so our plotting point for the bumper is going to be right here on these ends as you can see this is part of the bumper and here goes the bumper lip we're going to be putting screws here and on the other side as well to have a secure hold and we're going to also be putting them on the bottom of the bumper just about under there <clears throat> so we can have a hold in place so it doesn't fall off it has a firm hold as of right now but it's not obviously not going to hold while driving you have wind and all that extra stuff and we're going to basically be fixing all of that so, we'll be right back with you guys. 
Okay, so I've gotten the screw on for this one right here. I <coughs> plotted a hole for this this one right here. We didn't we took it right back out so we can use this pointed edged to drill for the bottom because the screws that I bought here are not gonna you know do that. They're flat head, they're flat at the end, so they won't be able to drill on their own. And we're going to put the rest of this on and hopefully we have a clean install. Alright, we've gotten the holes drilled in and mounted onto the actual bumper with the bumper lip. So the next part that we're going to do is use these washers to keep them, ouch, let me fix up my thing. These washers here, these washers to hold them in place and not to pop out. Alright guys, we've put in the, um, locks for both so the last part we're going to use is use the piece that we use to drill everything and put it where it belongs right here right here with all the things put on all the screws put on and in place we got a pretty firm hold it's not going to come off anytime soon we're covering what we wanted to cover here the skip plate is all right i can take off that ugly 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 tape that i had on here you guys see that no movement gang and i'm going to put on the bumper probably tomorrow let me show you guys showing my car now it's outside it looks kind of fierce don't it oops I'll see him. I'll see him. I'll see Luke. Minus he has some oxidation issues. That's up for another video and up for the vape because <sighs> another new problem that came to the car. Coming very soon. Another ballast alert. One headlight. Betty Wap. But yeah, man. Um I'm gonna come to you guys again tomorrow on what's the finished product of the light I mean of the light the bumper put it back on for you and you guys are going to be able to see that also I'm going to fix my concurrent skid plate issue it's been dragging on the floor recently and I need to find a way to zip tie that up so I have a bunch of colorful 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 zip ties you guys are going to like that PS I'm not gay um <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, so it's been a couple of days, maybe a week, since I did the little bumper lip thing, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the results. So here it goes, right here. 
some of y'all probably have not been waiting for it, but hey, this is what the bumper lip looks like, put on the car, oh, I also got some new tires while you guys are out, I need to get some new rears, because those in the back are way too skinny, those are 30s, that's a 235, no, 255, 30, 19, and those are 235, 35. We're gonna go with 255, 40, 19s in the rear. And I'm thinking about raising my car again so I can have a little bit more performance, more function than scrape, because I scrape in certain places I don't want to and I like to go everywhere. So, yeah, I'm not about that low life like that. So, ooh, also, we need a wash. Maybe I can wash my car today at my job. That's not looking decent that rain that rain messed us up but uh let's stop talking about the car let's start trying to close out this video anyhow i know you guys are watching right now because obviously y'all are on my video but thanks for watching got more in tune i still have the car to wrap we haven't done that at all yet and uh i'm gonna also be putting polyfills in the car right now you know, probably won't be able to see it but yeah it's right somewhere in there um i'm gonna be putting polyfill for the speakers see if i can lose some of that disgusting noise clatter that we're having or if that doesn't work we're just gonna go ahead and put a custom box in there so yeah um make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like the video um for yeah that's it bye